What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm walking that family of my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Fear of the Walking Dead and how did she do it. Well, if you're up to date of Fear of the Walking Dead, you don't have to worry about spoilers, but nonetheless, gotta put out that spoiler warning for all of Fear of the Walking Dead, season five, season six, and we had a big bomb dropped on us in season six, episode eight, and a lot of people are wondering, is it true what Dakota told Morgan? We'll talk about, we, I guess there's no way to tell, but we're gonna break it down for you. And if you love all things Walking Dead, hit that subscribe button, become a valued member of our PT channel, Walking Dead family today. Well, Morgan was saved by someone. We didn't know who saved Morgan in season six, episode one. A lot of people were hoping that it would be connected with Madison and her return. I personally don't think Madison's ever coming back, but you never know, I could be wrong. We'll have to see how it goes down. And I know a lot of people, hashtag bring Madison back. Well, she did not save Morgan. And I have to say it was kind of disappointing, but we kind of called it that Dakota was the one that saved Morgan. And it makes sense for a variety of reasons because we know Morgan and we know Dakota and she saved Morgan to take down Ginny, who she hates. But the Rangers were around the area where Morgan was in the limo. So Dakota could have got to the area. She went to the Gulch, but either way, Morgan was dying. And is it a plot hole? Is it plot armor? We know Morgan doesn't die and he's gonna make it to the very end of the series. Hopefully it connects with Rick somehow, some way in the movies, but Morgan got a note and it said, you don't know me, but I heard your message. You need to do the same. You still have things left to do. And we're like, wait a second, who doesn't know Morgan? Well, I guess Dakota didn't, but did Dakota really take him up this water tower? Did she only take him part of the way? I mean, I just don't see Dakota carrying him up the ladder and just getting this far with it. Maybe she didn't. She patched him up and Isaac, when he actually took the bullet out, did say that a person did a crappy job, but they left stuff and they did a decent job for what it was. I mean, not everybody could be able to do this, but she left antibiotics, pain meds, and just everything to keep him alive. And Dakota did cop to it in season six, episode eight, but people aren't believing it. People are like, she had help. Maybe she was with somebody there. Maybe it was a ranger. Maybe it still is Madison, but Dakota clearly said that she did it in season six, episode eight. So is that the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I guess so. I mean, why would they tell us that if it's not true? I mean, you never know. Maybe she's just lying so Morgan didn't kill her. And maybe she saw the note and saw it in passing in Morgan's bag before. So she knew what to say. And But ultimately, it doesn't make sense if she was lying. For me, and it's kind of stupid, right? It's like, why would she say that she did it if she didn't? Well, to save her own butt, right? But it doesn't make sense for the story for us to be like, we were told one thing and it's not true. And I'm not really sure we were lied to by the audience. I mean, the audience figures things out. Stuff is told to the audience. But... Something's up with Dakota, and I hope she's taken out in season six, episode nine or 10, or early on in the back half of season six. But her saving Morgan and her being able to tell Morgan the details about the gulch and just being there, and you know, she knows certain details that make us believe her, but some people won't. And I guess they're going to keep waiting and waiting and waiting for the real person to stand up and uh, Madison to return and for things to happen. But I don't think Fear the Walking Dead operates like that. But she did know that Morgan was dying. She heard him on the radio. She went to the gulch to see Ginny be taken down. She knew that the walkers were about to chop on Morgan. But did she really take out all these walkers? I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six walkers. That's not easy to do for anybody, let alone small Dakota. But Morgan was dying. But like I said before, we all know that Morgan don't die. I don't die, I multiply. Baby's kids, anybody know that reference? But ultimately Morgan is a character that people want to see connected with Madison. I personally don't, I don't really care that much about Madison, but a lot of people do. So we'll see if she returns in season six B or season seven, but jenny has gotta go, right? This character needs to go and hopefully she is taken out in season six, episode nine or 10 and we get the new villains on the show. Dakota, what happens with Dakota, right? Does June take her out? Does Morgan take her out? Or is she welcomed into the community like Charlie? Well, this character needs to go, but that means they'll probably keep her around. But Morgan survived this and it was great going into season six. It, it drew us in with the cliffhanger and was like, okay, what's gonna happen with Morgan? Is Sherry gonna save him? Is Madison gonna save him? Nope, Dakota. But how did she do it is a question a lot of people are asking. And I'm not sure we're ever gonna find out. I don't think we're gonna see a flashback of Dakota killing these walkers, dragging Morgan away. I mean, how did she get there? Did she drive there? Did she walk there? Did she have a bike? 
it's just a lot of questions that are like, hmm, when you start to think about it, does it really make sense or not? Not sure, but if Dakota is the one that truly saved Morgan, I guess I believe it will have to, right? Because it's part of the story nonetheless. But let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. But overall, season six is still pretty good. I can't wait for season six, episode nine to 16. Thank you guys, stay safe and tell them, Daryl.